I'm at that age where I could fuck you or your daddy. So stop fucking playing with me. Pussy fat thighs thick like cold grits. Bitch, I'm young, my enemy. Who you fucking with, bitch? What a she shoot. Pass me the hoop. Dark skin, no belly, I'm Keisha. What's good, Valley Gang? Welcome to another episode of Talks from the Valley. This is episode four. And we got Yala in the building. Yo, yo. That is TikTok bitch doing it. She got all the little bitches on there going crazy. I'm innocent. He's telling me. Do you love me, baby? I know you love me, baby. I be seeing them fucking comments and I be like, y'all bitches need to stop being so thirsty. I be scared. Have you had any TikTok coochie? Nah. Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> I think you lying. Nah. You had TikTok coochie? Nah. No? You could keep side-eyeing. My answer is no. <laughs> Not yet. Never. That's toxic. You would never You would never hit a bitch off in TikTok? You got BBL. Does it matter? I do have a goal. You want to fuck a bitch with BBL? I don't know why. I don't want a relationship, though. I wonder what it feels. I don't know, cause some of them like the butts look really good now. It's homegrown. Yeah, nah. Uh, what's the? Uh, I forgot. I gotta get the reference. Cause this. Ari should be moving. Whoever go to Ari doctor, if she was on her TikTok. should be moving. That shit. He prayed over that. Over that ass. He prayed yeah. over that ass. I love looking at her ass move. It just looks so like it's like a wave. I don't know. They be tempting though, cause it be like you don't hit you up from Alabama. You be like, ooh, I ain't never had no Alabama. Before. Yeah, but then it's like, like for me, I would think about like, like the thighs don't be matching. Like India Love, like I think she's so like I think she's so so fucking bad. But like her, her thighs, it don't. Mm-mm. Which one is that? I don't fucking know. The bitch with all the tattoos on her face. They all look the same. <laughs> you, she was in the video. Young Blue video. Well, she's pretty, but it's like her ass and her thigh, her, it's not matching. And then I think about it like bent over. How crazy is that going to oh, look? Oh, she's shaped like a lollipop. <laughs> like a <laughs> lamb chop. <laughs> like a lamb chop. Like a little fucking, like a little fucking ant. It's just like, bloop. No. You talking about the joint shaped like roaches. Would you fuck Co- Coyle Ray? No. No, I didn't even make that face. But look, right? My only reason is it'd be like I was humping a broomstick. Because she's small? Yeah. I think she's so cute. She is. She's, she's very pretty. Yeah. She's very cute. But I like. I gotta you got to have something. It. Yeah, I hear you. And I feel like, you know what I mean, if you if you that skinny, that small, and you on me, it ain't gonna work. No, you might have more energy than me. I'm a I'm a bigger person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let me ask you something, cause you be on TikTok and shit, and my fat ass trying to a tickety tock, cause these fat bitches on there is not giving. <laughs> they just not giving. So what is some tips for people that want to start TikToking? Honestly, I say the first thing is, right, your tags. Mm-hmm. Your tags is what's going to get you, because your main focus is to get on that uh, For You page. Okay. So when I first started, I was like, all right, I was posting videos I wasn't putting tags on. They was getting a couple views here and there. Mm-hmm. Then I started doing my research, mm-hmm. and I was like, okay, what's the audience I want to pull? Right. Gay, lesbian. You know our community yeah so i just start playing tags studs of tiktok tiktok studs what's a fat bitch tags because they not i need to get all them them <laughs> fat loving ass motherfuckers over there they love the fat girls on there so boom you know you do a post right mm-hmm. after you write your little caption mm-hmm. the tag symbol mm-hmm. start typing out fat bitch and it's going to tell you how many tags is with it. no that <laughs> is it's going to tell you how many tags is so if you mm-hmm. say for example you put fat bitch it's going it might say 459 billion people have used that tag okay keep 
every single post you put, put, put the all same the fat t- bitch tags on there. Same tag. I use the same tags. Literally, if I pull up my phone, you're gonna see my tags the same. I never change them because hmm. that's my audience. Okay. And then you gotta know the times to post. Like my best friend is Google. Go to Google and look up best times to post on TikTok. Pull the mic a little closer to you. I got yeah, you. you. I got but- you. <laughs> I told you I don't like shit like this shit like this this close to my face. Why are you acting like that? Where the fuck I put I got to act civil because for my TikTok, they think I'm nasty. But your TikTok, your TikTok is lit. But people keep reporting me. They mad. It's probably all them, all them, all the other It's the studs. ugly studs. Where the fuck did I put my phone? It, it's the ugly studs. It is the ugly studs. I said I said it earlier. I said it's not my fault. Your girl keep watching my videos over and over. It has nothing to do with me. But how do you feel like your overall experience of like on TikTok is like? Do you feel like it's positive? I feel like okay. I had fun on TikTok, right? Uh-huh. My main at first when I started posting on there, I was like, yeah, I'm a funny guy. Like everybody that know me say that I'm funny. All that yeah. I was doing a whole comedian thing. Then like I already know. No cocky shit. But mm-hmm. I already know, like, okay, I look good. Mm-hmm. I started posting more thirst trap stuff. Yeah. And that's what I saw. started getting more views. All the bitches. All the bitches. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the bitches. Then when I started posting things more explicit or, like, how my sex life is, mm-hmm. it pulled in even more. So now I'm at the point where I'm like, I think I got to be their sex doctor. Because it seems like a lot of these films out here ain't been sex getting done right. <laughs> no, for real. They must not been getting right. Because when you go to my comments, they like, I never had that before. Where you at? What's well, it's like, on? I mean, the men really don't be like, the men don't be really, men really don't be giving like that. So, like, the girls that come over, like, a lot of them is, is straight bitches too, but. You, you saying in my comments? I'm talking about bitches in general that are gravitating to like studs is because of that. Y'all niggas is not giving. It's my shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of motherfuckers is not giving. But I think it also has a lot to do with porn. I agree. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. <laughs> like, yo, I've had this conversation so many times with people talking about how porn influence their sexual lifestyle Mm -hmm. and i get it growing up when you have no sexual experience first thing you turn to is porn you feel me like your parents gonna tell you the birds and the bees but they're not gonna tell you how freaky the birds and the bees got yeah but for you to become like a expert or Mm -hmm. know what you're doing so that you could please your partner you gotta it's it's like error and trial trial and error i don't want to trial and error you're supposed to do that at a younger age so i mean i yeah. Like when I'm gonna be honest with you, I mean, I ain't never had no complaints, and I've been sexually active since I was like ninth grade. You feel me with females? Mm-hmm. And as time went on, practice make perfect. But, porn but that could have been a lie too, because a lot of it, we lying out here. Bitches is lying out here. Like we lying? out here lying. Like we out here faking orgasms and all of that shit. That's because of porn. Think about it like this, right? You see a porn. Me, me being lesbian, right? When I see a lesbian porn, it pisses me off. Mm-hmm. Because I know damn well when I have sex, mm-hmm. it ain't no ooh, ah, ah. Like, it ain't, <laughs> that shit be, then they be hammering it and all that. Like, this shit don't hurt. They be making it seem a way that it's really not. And then someone will go into a real sexual mm-hmm. encounter thinking that's what they girl going like. Old time. I feel sitting. like with men, it's, it's not that the dick be bad. It be like, when you... <sighs> It's like you getting on the highway, right? And it's 60 miles per hour, right? And you get to the 60 miles per hour, but now it's like, ooh, there's nobody on the road. Let me go a little faster. You got to stay consistent. Like, y'all niggas go down to 35 miles. Like, what happened? Like, you was, if you hitting that shit, hit, hit, hit. And then your leg itch, you better let that motherfucking leg itch. You feel me? I didn't call the Charlie horse. I didn't call the Charlie horse. It's been times that I've, that I got like a fupa cramp. You know the no, fupa cramp, out, bitches. No. What is a fupa cramp? <laughs> All right, y'all. A, a fupa <laughs> cramp is when you fucking right. You they got you rolled up. TV having me rolled up like an Annie Ann's pretzel. <laughs> okay, and then it's like hey, yo geez. fupa. It's like the the fupa right here. This shit right here. It start cramping and it feels like const- like this. Is and it every time that they... No, not all the time. It's just sometimes. It's like 
Sometimes, like, you know, I ain't drink enough water that day. My, you know what I mean? And now I'm cramped up, and it's like, but you're also, like, having an orgasm. So it's like, if you, I feel like if you have, if you, if you having sex, right? Uh-huh. And you, your body, you know, be like, hold up, time out. Uh-huh. You can't tap out. Like, if I catch a Charlie horse and yeah. this leg, you will. and I'm hitting it, this leg going straight. Yeah! And- yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna shake that bitch out. You hear me? That joint gonna leg come me on. Up here, I'd be like, See, stretch my leg. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I swear, yo, I done had so many child because I'm old. Yeah, I done had so many <laughs> We have a very much senior citizen sex. Like, it's very and much you. Like, hold up, time out. I need some water, type. Yeah, but, like we need a break. I need a snack break. I take snack breaks. Do you? Yeah, I do too. I'd be like, uh, Is and it? it's like I got my big sis. TKO got me this Nespresso machine because I love coffee, right? I'm very much a cold brew type of girl. Mm -hmm. So I just be like, okay, time out. Let's go have some coffee, maybe a bagel, half a bagel, and then we could tap (laughs) back. Hold up, coffee and a half a bagel? Yeah. I was talking about like run to the kitchen, open up the orange juice, drink out of it, take a Uh. bite out of something and it refrigerator and get back i don't know we take like you're talking about put the like bagel 15 in the minutes toaster. yeah i'm gonna put it in the toaster <laughs> wegmans shout out the wegmans they motherfucking bagels is everything you feel me spread it on there and then get your coffee it's a snack all right so question and sometimes right? i like to eat candy when i have sex too i'm about to eat this edible baby. as you should okay. as you should but question right so say say y'all having drunk sex because uh-huh. i know that this is what i do mm-hmm if I'm having drunk sex, I'm bringing a bottle with me to the bedroom and putting okay. it on the dresser. Uh huh. You like, gonna be like this in the pussy? In between, you know how people get like I get thirsty. I might I got a bottle of water that's already open, so I don't gotta unopen it. It's already open, and I got my bottle of liquor. <laughs> you open. fucking like a sport. <laughs> so look, I'm hitting, and then you know as you hit, like it's like you working out, so you working out your drunkness. I want to stay drunk, so I'm gonna take another swig, and I'm gonna keep hitting. Don't nobody else do that. Nah, I'm a gremlin. I don't really, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really like drink, drink because I'm a sloppy drinker. Like I'm one of those people mm. like you don't want to hang out with me when I'm drunk. So I don't really drink like that. I drink like Bellinis and like cute little bitch drinks, but I'm not drinking, drinking, you know, mm. a Bellini is sparkling wine and some type of fucking puree. Yep. Over ice. I must have been dealing with ratchets because ain't no bitch ever telling me she wanted a Bellini. Okay, honey, yes. Brunch and Bellinis. That's it and that's all. But you getting Casamigos, Hennessy. Nah, I ain't drinking none of that shit. That's where the savage come out from. No, I don't like when T drinks Hennessy. My vagina be looking like I-95, like (laughs) divided highway, (laughs) like both the highways, like northbound and south. See. You you're a gremlin off the off the off the. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Nah, look, it's some shit. It's called uh, Villanova. What fuck some is shit. that? I went to Miami. They only got it Wait, out there. Let's talk. You know that honey shit? You heard about it? I did it. I do That's... it on a regular. I have a drawer. Full okay, of so them. first of all, explain what is it. So, I don't know if it's really supposed to be for men, mm-hmm. <laughs> but I use it. Mm-hmm. And it's just supposed to be like a, it, it enhances everything. Like what I do. Some with, of these bitches got facial hairs. They can take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. They might have PCOS or something. I listen. <laughs> listen. I got a chin hair too. <laughs> Fuck. I've been trying to grow one. A chin hair? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. But nah, for the honey, right? <laughs> okay. With that, what I do is uh-huh. I take a pack, uh-huh. I take some honey, okay, but pour me up. Pop what is me. it though? Is it like really honey? Yeah, it's honey, it's a certain type of it's monotonous. Can you taste it? Yeah, you can take it straight out of the pack. Is it nasty? I'm gonna give you a challenge, okay, for you and my friend. I'm scared. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta go get y'all some honey. I can get it from Amazon, you can get it from the tobacco store. What? They we got a smoke shop up the street. Bro, <laughs> I'm getting slutted out tonight. They in, the, <laughs> they in the hood. I'm telling you, they everywhere I'm in the really hood. I'm really getting slutted out. Why y'all playing? Y'all get the gold pack. Uh-huh. Get you some Henny. 
Yeah, whatever that little uh, expensive drink you talking about. My Bellini. Yeah, Bellini. Bel- yeah. I got to make you a Bellini. All right, bet. Say that. And you put the honey in there? Mm-hmm. Drink it straight like that. And then what happens? You tell me. Y'all let me know. Get how back what? To no, me. you got to tell me how was your experience first because I what, what can I expect? My experiences? Multiple over. orgasms? You going to be going... Oh, where head. did I get this shit? Fuck, we got we got in this pod. <laughs> in your head, in your uh-huh. head, you're going to be like, I should stop, but your body not going to. It's dangerous. We're production. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. I don't know because honestly, I take, a, you know, I eat a lot of edibles, right? So like, if I take like two edibles, the sex be like I feel like when I'm coming like my body like my soul is being lifted up in the air but my body's still there but I'm just like but that honey or have you do that like 10 times I'm gonna I'm gonna do the edibles and the honey oh you risky yeah you a savage I think that they should like make like shirts that say savage with your face on it I'm gonna do it I think so I'm gonna do it I think you should do it because for real, for real, I've been trying to put people onto the honey, females in particular, uh-huh. but they be scared of the honey. I ain't scared of the honey. I do lean. Say like, nah, I did. <laughs> Yo, I, real story, real story. I Wait. did lean one time, mm-hmm. right? I did lean one time. I did this much lean, right? And fanna, my ass walking around the fucking, the fucking apartment with the fanna like this, like I'm, I'm really like on some thug shit. It was this was much. You was so listen. I took it. My people's is like, yo, take it. And then, like, you got to stay up. That's part of it. And I'm like, that's dumb. He's like, you're going to feel sleepy, but you got to stay up. And I'm like, okay, I can do it. Look, 20 minutes tops. My ass, like, in the car, like. You know why they say you got to stay up? Why? Because it's, it's like a, uh, you ever see a junkie nod out? Uh-huh. Like. I know. I was, I went to bed. That's the good feeling. That they get from it. Oh, that's why they do Fight it. And they sleep. Oh nah, yeah. y'all drawling. I'll tell you yeah. what. I'll take it because I like the only reason that I would take it is because my ass don't sleep sometimes, and that was the best sleep. I only slept for like twenty minutes, but my mom called me, and I was like, "What?" Like I was so mad, my my peace was disturbed. Take some of that honey, and then when y'all done, you sleep for two days. <sighs> I got a pod tomorrow. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling do some you, honey tonight. The honey lit, babe. We gotta do some honey. He looking at me like I don't know. I think it'll be a good time. I think I think. Bro, it'll when be a your good birthday, time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna get you a care package. Huh? December. And well, uh, happy belated. I'm gonna grab you some just cause. Yeah. Y'all gotta try that honey. I'm gonna try some honey. Okay. So y'all, what is like the nastiest thing you did? I'm trying to think what the nastiest shit I did. And don't judge me because it's taking me this long because I do a lot of nasty stuff. Damn, I have to just say one. You got multiple? (laughs) Because, like, they all. Yeah, top three. Top three, top three, top three. (sighs) Okay, so, um, I mean, like, eating. So, eating ass, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. A lot of people like a, a, a lot of people do it. You now. eat everybody? Fuck no. Sometimes no. How about pussy? No. But are oh, you asking if I eat everybody's pussy? Not everybody's, but like let's say you go to the club, you're having a wild night, and then you meet this girl, and it's like, oh, I like you kinda, and I'm like, oh, let's go back, and it's like I might eat your pussy, maybe. I don't do that. Never. I don't take people. So home how? Club. Wait, what? I don't take people home from the club. No? No. Okay, because... from the fucking library, y'all. No. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Listen, hear me out. Only How be... many dates before you eat in the box? I might eat it on the first date. Oh, that's what I was asking. But the club ain't the first date. You said you okay. said if I met, so well, if I met somebody, else. if I uh-huh. met somebody at the club, I'm not going to want to take them home because, of course, you were sweating in that club. <laughs> so, unless you're going to hop in the shower... You know what I'm saying? Like, if mm-hmm. they gonna come back and they gonna hop in the shower, boom, boom, yeah, then we all on the same page, and yeah, maybe. But hey, weren't you Polly? I have questions. Ah! 
I have questions. Yeah, I had two girlfriends. How was that? Horrible. Really? Worst decision of my life. Really? Yes. I was going to let T, like, have a girlfriend. I was cool. Nah, sometimes T. my pussy hurt, and I need a break. Nah, uh, you got to... It's... Okay. The only reason why I say not to do it is because... You can only control your emotions. You can't control <laughs> if one of the two other people start feeling a certain type of way. Like, it was But I feel of- like that needs to be like a situation where it's like, okay, we're interested in doing that. And we've had this conversation because we tried, but these bitches are weird. Right. Hell no. I took two pieces of the book. I just, I just ate that shit you gave I me. Said, and now you ask me these questions because I think this was a setup. And I said, <laughs> all right. So first we tried with the one girl and y'all know who I'm talking about. The girl I left the fruit snacks on the fucking floor. Remember the bitch that we fucked and then like, I don't know. I f- bro, God, tell me. She talked, yo, fruit she snacks. talked so, bro, she talked so much shit to T, like so much shit. She was like, nah, and y'all gonna leave. she going to call me daddy. And T was like, bitch, bro, like we went to bed. We all went to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night. Shit got real. All I know was I felt so bad for that girl because the type of dick T gave her, that was fucked up. That was aggressive. After that, that bitch, the next time T went to pick her up, that bitch got in the car and was like, hey, daddy. <laughs> hey, yo. Bitch got in the car and was like, hey, See, that's daddy. that's why I fuck with you. That's why I fuck with you, bro. Like yeah. that, like me watching it, I was like, my insides was like, why is you giving her dick like that so like i I didn't feel jealous though i was cool okay so see my situation was like okay so it was with a girl that i was in a long-term relationship with Mm -hmm. we took a break Mm -hmm. and then i met this other girl Mm -hmm. i have a habit of like Mm -hmm. like when my heart broken i gotta just next you know what i'm saying i I be trying to work on that shit it's cute (laughs) no like it's not even funny like i really be wanting to like grieve like everybody else and be like single for three months no i can't but like yeah so i met the other john we was fucking around then somehow the conversation came into the point where the girl that i was with long term was like yeah well i'm coming back you feel me Mm -hmm. So when she came back, we all was living together. And then, you feel me? At first, it was all cool. We was having sex. It was lit and all that. But then jealousy started. It was like, a, oh, you fucking her better than you fucking me. Yeah, I don't feel that way. Or like spin it. But we all lived together. I still went. And, like, I literally, when I sat down and I was like, I'm cool with us, like, having a girlfriend. Like, I was like. We talked about like you know boundaries, and I was like, I feel like if I'm at work and y'all hanging out and y'all want to fuck, I don't care. Like, but for me, right? I think I'm a female cuckold or whatever the fuck you call them. I get off on that. I I want to see that. I want to know like I'm at work and my nigga is at home slanting this bitch out. But I'm a little nasty sometimes. I don't fucking know. All right, so boom. This this was one of the nasty that bitch shit, out, right? daddy. When before before my uh before the one I was in a long term relationship with Mm -hmm. moved back out here, right? She knew that I was fucking with the other girl. Mm -hmm. So the conversation was, okay, you moving back out here and we all gonna be fucking with each other. Uh I would FaceTime the one that was in the other state Mm -hmm. while I fucked the other girl and she would watch us fuck and she Mm -hmm. would play with her pussy on the phone. (sighs) I see. So that might be one of the nastiest shit that yeah. But yeah, so like we would do shit like that. Then when they came out here, it was literally like I was off the energy drinks. I'm talking about like one land right here, one land right here. I'm busting her ass. Mm-hmm. And then while I'm busting her ass, she pushing me over to bust the other girl ass. They getting their little times in between to recuperate, and I ain't getting no time to breathe. <laughs> I was dying. But look, I got good stamina. Uh-huh. And like, also, my pride be fucking with me. So, they, yeah. like, beforehand, they be like, you can't handle us. Like, or they be, like, joking about it. Like, yeah, we about to tire her the fuck out. At the end of the day, they be the ones tapping out. But inside, I'm like, bitch, I'm about to die. <laughs> like. It was your pride keeping you alive. Like, I don't know. Like, you could probably relate, bro. 
when you hitting it and you know you might just pass out, but you like, I ain't going to pass out. First of all, <laughs> when we had our threesome, I, I was cracking up because <laughs> I was just like, cool, I just wanted to watch. And then I'm thinking, oh, I'm going back to bed because I was tired. Like, we was up all night. So I was like, finally, I'm going to go to bed. All I feel was my... <laughs> when Sweetie said, I want little baby lift my legs up, like he lifted, like he changed in the diaper... I understood. I understood. Because this motherfucker flinged my big ass and was like, boop. I was like, oh, I'm getting dick too. Okay. I wasn't ready because I was tired. Look, and then, but then that's when it went bad though. Because like at first it was all cool. I said the first week or two it was cool. We was all, uh, you know, vibing, fucking together. Somebody cooking. That. I was always cooking. That's, damn. I, that's- I prefer to cook. Oh, okay. that's just I, that's just my thing. I like cooking. Okay, so we all cool. Then it started getting to where like one would come up to me on some sneaky shit. Like, yeah, when she go off, like I'm trying to. And oh, so started, y'all can only fuck together? Was that one of it the? It wasn't rules? the conversation, but they started making it like that because like one would come up to me on some secretive shit. Like, yeah, when she go to here, when she go to sleep, we gonna fuck on the balcony. And I'm like, why are we whispering? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, uh, and then eventually I was just like, oh, okay. So, like, I, I think it was more like a, it turned them on for it to be like they were sneaking with me. But I was both theirs. But in actuality, I was actually only the one that I was in a long-term relationship with. Because, um, like, when it came down to it, like, this might sound fucked up. But me and her was like, man, once the other John start acting crazy... It was mm-hmm. like, bitch, we bank you. Stop playing with us. Like, no, that's exactly yeah, like, like this. How... Like this, my bitch. Like you, you was an add on. Stop playing. So, and that was my issue because I don't ever want to make you feel like you're the fucking prop, bitch. But I mean, <laughs> if the shoe fits, yeah, you know, it's supposed to be like knowing what I was saying though. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, like you can't expect. But I ain't you... never treat them bitches like that. I was cool. I, I treated you like you was just as important as me, but you wasn't. And then that's what bothers me with hoes, like. Okay, so if we all, first of all, we, me and you are in a whole situation. You feel me? That's different. So if I'm telling you, like, I understand that you out here and you might not feel like, you know, you're, you really have your person because we have each other already and you want to fuck with other people, then say that. But don't be sitting here like, oh, I'm only fucking with y'all, da, 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 da. And then it come back. Because, you know, community small as fuck. It come back like, oh, well, this bitch was just trying to fuck. And I'm like, girl, I don't care. You want to hear something crazy about the story? Mm-hmm. The add-on girl, she applied for me and her to get married without me knowing. Forged my signature. <laughs> I'm mad at add-on girl. I'm dead ass. And then look, look, look. Like, after the whole situation was over, the shit came in the mail. And this is when I was with... You feel me? It came in the mail, and she got the mail, and she like, you was about to marry this bitch? I'm like, is this the first of me knowing? The-? Yeah, like, add-ons is crazy. Yeah. Add-ons is crazy. We started talking to this one girl, and she was cool. No shade if you watch this, because we're cool. It's all but, shade with the other joint. It's on when I say <laughs> Yeah, it was just a little, it was just a little weird. It was a little weird. It was weird. And then it was like she was still in love with her ex that was sneaking off to cheat on her with trans women at night in Virginia. Like, it was so awkward. I was just like, you got a lot of shit to work out. And I feel like me and T is an issue. Like, we're a problem because together, like, nobody can come between that. So, like, when bitches come in. They be feeling like, okay, well, I might, you know what I'm saying? Like, the one yeah. girl that left the fruit snack, she was, like, more, like, on me. Like, oh, Val, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And then it be other bitches that be, like, on T and shit. And I be like, I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, this cannot be broken. That's this is fun. Do we do this shit for fun. <laughs> yeah, when you got that, when you got your uh, twin flame, you yeah. feel me? It's different. Like, anybody could pop in and out, in and out, mm-hmm. but y'all know. Nothing gonna separate mm-hmm. what y'all got going on. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nah. You gonna always test that. Yeah, you can test it. You can test them still too, because <laughs> you gonna get shot over that one. <laughs> you yeah. gonna end up in the morgue. <laughs> now the crazy thing is, I got a crazy story to tell, and I don't know why, don't know why I want to tell you this. Oh, tell me. So people right. always want to tell me. Things. I don't know. I just feel so open with you. Oh, yes, <laughs> tell me. <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, but like, okay, so it's a story about two of my two of my exes uh-huh. that wanted to fight each other and then ended up dating each other and prostituting together. Got so ties. <laughs> we should prank call someone, y'all. We should I'm be like. It. We should be like, hey, we're calling because you have fraudulent charges on your account. It looks like you know I want to call someone and be like, yes, I want to call someone and be like, hey, big boy. And then be like, who's this? I'll be like, our phone call just hung up. I'm calling you. I want to be a, a phone sex operator. Who you want to call? I've always wanted. You ain't never thought about being a phone sex operator. Somebody told me I could be. I just want to walk around the house like, yeah. <laughs> Put it in my ass. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to join like, yeah, you reached out. Yalla. <laughs> Yalla after dark. Tell me your fantasy. <laughs> and I'll make it a reality. <laughs> what do I have on? <laughs> Look, be at home, fucking sweats, hair all fucked up. Red lingerie. <laughs> like... <laughs> Sitting here eating these strawberries, thinking of you. For real, I would be a whole skinny bitch. Like, hello. You know what's I'll funny? Be a six foot tall black man. How How old are you? Twenty nine. Okay, so we are. I'm, I'm a little older than you, but we ain't that much far apart, right? So let me tell you, when back in high school, I used to be on the party line, right? Mm-hmm. You've reached the Philly butt monkey, right? And I've always been like a fat girl, so but I wasn't confident growing up. Right. The glow up was real because you niggas, you niggas in high school was playing with me, and now you want to eat my ass. Now you're in my inbox trying to eat my ass. But nevertheless, I used to be on the party line, and I used to lie like shit. <laughs> but like I'm five five, dark ebony skin. Like bitch used to lie. I was on a party line and almost got kidnapped. By, a, by like a 30 some year old woman no lie she, I, she I went to the movies with this nigga we're so lucky this isn't this we would have got snatched the fuck no, up like i got on the train i was like 15 no 14 i got on the train went uh-huh. to philly to meet her and when i got up there she was this grown-ass woman and i was so scared and what'd I she say she wanted you she knew you look like that she i told her what i would be wearing and she told me what she would be wearing <laughs> And when I got up there, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. Like, I almost got snatched. Like, oh, my God, I could have been in Mexico somewhere getting traffic. I met up with this nigga at the mall. All right, I'm going to tell y'all, I ain't never told nobody this. We should have did that at a mall. <laughs> but when I was on there, I was talking to this dude. And, like, his picture downloaded. I was like, oh, okay, like. It's very much giving like B2K Amarion or whoever the fuck the nigga was with the braids. Whatever the case may be. I was like, okay, he's cute. So, but you know, I was like 16, 17. Why I go to the motherfucking mall, talk to this nigga for a little bit, and then he started asking me grown ass questions <laughs> and I ran. <laughs> Scared your little ass off. Yeah. Especially because like 16, 17, like people were fucking, but I was not. So I was <laughs> I wasn't fucking. I was fucking. My experiences was horrible. Like I all was of, fucking. I ain't even gonna cap. Look. I lost I went, my virginity three times. Bro, <laughs> it was horrible. Bro, I got my first car in tenth grade, right? And I would get up two hours early before school to drive to this girl crib up the street, bust her ass, and then <laughs> she would take a shower. She would cook me breakfast. I was doing grown shit. I drive to her crib like a two hours before we had to go to school, bust her ass. She cook me breakfast. It would be right after her dad went to work, and then we both go to school. <laughs> Why are you like this? I don't know. That's horrible. I don't. I really don't know. I think it's because my dad lied and left me. I blame it on him. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. So that's what you going to do? You just want? You no, gonna... he don't even want to talk to me. It's his fault. For real, for real. Why? All right, boom. Wait, you dead ass? I'm dead ass. My dad don't fuck with me. He's a dub. Y'all see that nigga? <laughs> what real. you do? I ain't do nothing. All right, boom. That dude right there. 
<laughs> he's a op. He's a op and he's a liar. Like he just, I don't know. He's delusional. I'm gonna I'm tell you. I'm gonna tell you how I know he don't, he don't want to fuck with me. Right? Two Thanksgivings ago, right? Mm-hmm. I said to him, "Well, I called my brother because I ain't talked to my dad in a minute." I called my brother. I'm like, "Yeah, uh, what's dad number? I want to say happy Thanksgiving to him because we wasn't talking over. He had lied on me on some weird shit. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Yeah, what's dad number?" My brother was like, "Oh, hold up, let me hit him and see if I can give you his number." First red flag. What? <laughs> See if you can give me my dad's number. You a solicitor? No, fuck. You feel me? So then, boom. My brother finally hit me back. He was like, "Oh yeah, I can't give you the number." Uh, he said that he's not ready yet. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> it is. It is. No, it is. No, because y'all gonna have me get into my daddy issues and shit, and I don't got time for that shit. Because that nigga definitely took my college funds and. Took him and paid for his uh, so wife. Get out! Why do people do shit like this? No, okay. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about him. His his name is Tyrone. This is the last thing I'm gonna say about him, right? No, because I said I put him on blast. This is the last thing I say about him, right? My college fund to go to school, right? No, y'all gotta pay attention. Y'all gotta. <laughs> Please stop. No, last thing, last thing, last thing. <laughs> so boom, I had a college fund that my goddad made for me, right? When I turned 18, I was supposed to use it to go to college. You know what my dad did? <laughs> Listen, he cashed it out and paid for his wife to go to school <laughs> with my college fund. Ain't that nigga fucked up? Yo, he's a op. He's a op. He's a op. So y'all see him. I think he's in Virginia or something. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody beats me. <laughs> Won't tell me. Did he? Did she finish school? Yeah, <laughs> and she got a good ass pay. Look, she worked with the. She working a NICU. She a NICU nurse, like for the kids. She went to ner- medical school. Nigga. She went to medical school with my college fund. For real, look at me. I, I wanted to go to school to be a homicide detective. Look, ain't that crazy? And then look, boom. Look at me now. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm literally fucking. Crying. I'm sorry, but it's funny though. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be sad. I cannot. Nah, for real though. Ooh, feel better, <laughs> y'all. I'm gonna end this episode here. We won't. We, me and y'all, are definitely gonna do another episode. But I'm gonna end this episode yeah. here because I am fucking in legit tears. <laughs> That's fucked. Up. It's all good though. Y'all love me. I will make sure to plug in her information below, her IG and her um, tickety talk. You bitches need to TikTok. And I will see you guys next week. Make sure you follow us on all social platforms. I gotta get off of here. Look at me. I look crazy. I love you guys. We is out. In my bag is Priscilla. Keep the Mac on me, period. You a mad bitch. See, you wanna be me with a savage. You average. Hottest in the city. I'm a savage.